Hello and welcome to Maseno University e-learning portal. Uh, we're going to get started by getting to know how to navigate the e-learning portal. So to get to access the Maseno University e-learning portal, you need to open your browser and type in the URL elearning.maseno.ac.ke. Once you type in the URL, you will be able to uh, access the login page which is currently displayed on your screen. Now you should enter your username. Uh, I am typing in my username and your password. Now once you have uh, typed in your username and password and clicked on the login button, the site will be able to log you in. That is assuming your credentials are okay. Uh, so the site will log you in and take you directly to the Maseno University home page. Now on the Maseno University uh, e-learning home page, uh, we are going to look at the features that are available on the Maseno University e-learning home page. Now um, on the top uh, section of the home page are links to my courses, my profile, exam timetable and schools and faculties. These are links to frequently visited uh, sections of the site uh, by the users who log into the site. Now on the second section of the site are learner support service, is a learner support services area whereby there are links to uh, discussion forums or forums where the EPCs or the eCampus program coordinators interact with the students from their various schools. Now, uh, the next section on the e-learning homepage is the e-library, which is access to the e-library databases, past papers, open educational resources, and, 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 and a platform or a space where you can interact with the e-librarian. Now, how do you access the courses that you are working on? Now, to access the courses that you are working on, you use the My Courses link. When you click on My Courses, it will open uh, the page or what you call your dashboard. On your dashboard, you're able to access all the activities and courses that you are uh, currently enrolled in. You cannot be able to access a course which you are not enrolled in. Now, uh, on your dashboard, there are two links. There's a timeline and courses. Now, what is the difference between timeline and courses? Now, the timeline uh, is a list of all activities within the courses that you are uh, working on, including the time, the timelines of those particular activities. For example, if there's a due, if a, there's an assignment that is due, there's a chat that is due, there is um, a discussion forum that you need to have posted in, there's an assignment that needs to have been submitted, all this information will appear on the timeline. Now, on the courses link, it is a section whereby uh, you're able to access all the courses that you are working on. They're usually categorized into three categories. The first one is in progress. In progress are courses that you are currently working on in a given semester. Now, the, the courses that appear under future are courses that are submitted to be taken in the future. For example, if there's a, an activity or a course that is scheduled for uh, maybe a month or two from now, it should be appearing under future. Uh, under the past tab is all courses that you did in the past. For example, the past courses that you have been enrolled in, in at the e-campus, if you're a facilitator, the courses that you've been teaching in the past will appear in that particular section. So can I, uh, I, will, I would like to encourage you to take time to navigate the e-learning portal so that you're able to learn all the features that are available for you on the e-learning portal. Thank you.